So last week, the amazing Paul Hibbert from Hibbert Home Tech did a phenomenal video on getting your security cameras and your doorbell cameras to appear on your TV. And this was absolutely brilliant. It was using a combination of tasker triggers and Android TV boxes to basically display um, your Google Nest cameras or your Ring doorbell cameras or practically any camera um, on your TV. Now, the caveat there was that you had to have an Android TV device hooked up to your television. So either um, some sort of stick like an Nvidia Shield um, or something like that that had Android TV built in or a projector with Android TV. So this is a great way of doing this. But one of the questions that he posed himself was, how could we get this working on the Fire TV devices? So the good news is there is a really, really quick and simple way of getting your security cameras or your doorbell cameras or whatever else to display on the Fire TV sticks. And I'm gonna show you that today. If you're interested in Paul's video, I'm gonna link it down below in the description. Absolutely worth checking out, particularly if you're using Android TV devices or if you have Google Nest cameras or any other camera that may not necessarily play nicely with the Amazon Echo herself, the voice assistant ecosystem. Before we go any further though, for this video, there's a couple of caveats on my setup. The first thing is that you need to have a Fire TV device, such as a Fire Stick or a Fire TV Cube that is using Amazon Alexa herself, the voice assistant. So if you have one of the Fire Stick lights that doesn't use the voice assistant, this is not gonna work for you. So it has to be one of the TV devices that has the button for voice control and actually has herself built in, otherwise this isn't gonna work. The second caveat is that this really only works with cameras and security cameras and doorbell cameras that can already be displayed quite easily and quite quickly on say your Echo Shows or your Echo Spots or any of your other Amazon Echo devices. So the idea behind this is we're gonna use the entire Echo ecosystem to try and pull your camera feed straight onto your TV. The reason why I'm doing this though is because Paul made a really, really interesting point. If you're sitting watching TV, you're sitting watching Netflix, you're watching Prime Video or something, something like that, somebody rings the doorbell, you'd love it to be able to just show up on the screen straight away and see who's at your front door before you respond to them. Or you could set it so that if there's motion detected by one of your security cameras, that again, this interrupts your viewing and displays it on the screen. The good news is that if you do this right and your TV supports it, not only will this actually display on the Fire Stick itself, but it will also potentially change the input on your TV. So for example, on my Samsung TV, when I use this automation, when I use this setup, even if I'm watching a different uh, HDMI input, if I'm watching say my Skybox or one of the built-in apps on my TV, this will actually interrupt it and change to the HDMI that my Fire TV stick is connected to and then show me my front door camera on the screen. So in this example, I'm gonna use a ring door view cam. So I have a ring door camera in my front door. And essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have it set so that when somebody rings that, it will basically open up that display straight on my Fire TV stick. Now I have an older Fire TV stick, but this will work with any of the new ones as well. And it's a fairly straightforward process. So there's a couple of things that may go wrong in this and I'll address those as we go along. But let's start with the easiest option. So if you just want your doorbell camera to be displayed on the Fire TV screen, um, the easiest way of doing this is obviously make sure that your doorbell camera and your Fire Stick are in your Amazon Alexa app so that you can control everything in there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a very, very simple Alexa routine whereby if your front doorbell is pressed, it's going to tell the Amazon Fire TV stick to basically load up the display of that camera. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna go into routines in the Amazon app and we're gonna set up a new routine that basically says if the front doorbell is pressed, then I'm gonna trigger some sort of action. So you could also do this for motion as well if you have a security camera that triggers motion. But again, not all cameras are gonna be supported by the app so we'll come back to that in a little bit because there is potential workarounds we'll talk about so in this routine I'm gonna set it so that if my front doorbell is pressed I'm gonna do an action and the action here I'm gonna do is is gonna be one of these custom actions so these custom actions are really really cool essentially what a custom action in a routine is is it lets you mimic as if you were giving a voice command to your Amazon Echo device so I'm gonna type in show my front door because this is the command that I give to my Echo dots and my Echo 
Echo Shows, my Echo whatevers, to show the screen or show the display from my front doorbell camera. The trick here though is that I'm going to set the output device or the input device to be the Amazon Fire TV Stick. So my Fire TV Stick is on the same account and it's called Andy's Fire TV Stick. So what happens is then this routine is essentially tricking Amazon into thinking that I have walked up to my Amazon Fire TV Stick, pressed the button for a voice command and said, Let's show my front door. And what should happen then is if somebody presses my front doorbell, this will then send the routine through Amazon's Echo ecosystem, send that voice command to my Fire TV stick. So if you have the Fire TV stick loaded on your TV, you'll hear her say, okay. And then lo and behold, the display will show up. And the best thing is that this will interrupt anything that you're currently running on the Fire TV stick. So if you're running Prime, if you're running Netflix, if you're running uh, YouTube or whatever else, it will pause whatever you're in you'll hear the okay and then it'll show you the front door so this is absolutely amazing and really really quick and simple as I said depending on your TV you might even be lucky enough that if you're on a different HDMI input and the trigger is pressed or the front doorbell is pressed the fire TV stick may actually force the TV to switch to the correct HDMI input which it does in my case I can't guarantee this is going to work for everybody with every type of TV I do have this CEI uh, enabled so that I can use my TV remote and my TV to control uh, some of my Fire TV input. So that might be the reason why this is working for me, but it's really, really cool because now I can be watching TV, somebody presses my front door and this will take a second or two, flick the input to my Fire TV stick and show the front door on the display. Again, this isn't limited to just push buttons, so you could have it so that a motion detection by a security camera could do the same thing. But for this example, I'm just gonna stick to the front doorbell. So at the beginning, I said that this may may not necessarily work and there's a couple of reasons for this but the primary one is that uh, Amazon Echo routines are not the most reliable and some of the integrations between the likes of Ring and Blink uh, and the Amazon Echoes are a bit funny and don't always work so there is another way you could do it if you are using IFTTT and if you want to put in some extra steps and extra kind of customizations you could use IFTTT and a little service called MK Zense MK K-Z-E-N-S-E, which I featured on the channel before. What MK Zens lets you do is basically use IFTTT to trigger routines in your Amazon app. So the idea behind this is I can go into IFTTT and create a routine in there or create an applet that says, if somebody presses my front doorbell, I'm gonna trigger a specific routine, which I'm gonna call IFTTT trigger one. Um, and what this does is I am in the app I've set up this routine to do exactly the same as I did in the earlier part of this video where I'm just telling it that if this routine activates to send that customized voice command to my fire TV stick to show my front door so you may not necessarily need to do this but the advantage if you do use it is that you can put in additional things in this IFTTT applet so for example what I now have is when somebody rings my front doorbell it triggers a uh, routine in my Amazon Echo app so it now displays the front door using that earlier option of the customized command, shows it on my Fire TV screen, I have it set to blink all my hue lights so that I get a visual notification that somebody's at the front door. And thirdly, then I have another routine set up to actually display it on my kitchen echo and my bedside echo. So this means that when somebody presses the front doorbell, I am basically seeing the front door camera on every echo display, including my TV around my apartment. So this is super super handy the main caveat though I am going to mention is that if your camera does not support being displayed on an Amazon Echo device this is not going to work I would highly recommend that you check out Paul Hibbert's video because he has workarounds whereby he's actually got the um, Google Nest app running on an Android TV and it's triggered then to display the camera even if the camera itself won't display on the Amazon Echo devices so my solution here is really for if you're using a Fire TV stick or a Fire TV device and you have a camera that's already compatible with the Echo ecosystem. So hopefully that will cover most people's bases. If not, as I said, check out his video because there are a couple of other things you can do. Having said that, the option that he's gone through with Tasker and installing the Nest app is not going to work on the Fire TV stick because Amazon have locked that thing down way too much for some of the customizations that he's come up with. Having said that, if I do figure out a way around that, I will let you know as soon as I do. So massive thanks to 
to Paul Hibbert for inspiring this video. I really, really enjoyed that. Um, and it's one of the ones that really stuck out in my mind. And I wanted to do this little quick video um, because he did mention the Fire TV Sticks. And I know a lot of people out there have asked me a lot of questions about the Fire TV Sticks. So folks, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please do feel free to hit me up in the comments below um, and ask me any questions about this or anything else that I featured on the channel. You can, of course, follow me on any of the social medias listed here. But I would say that if you do have any comments, questions, um, or anything to do with anything on the video or the channel, it's best to hit me up in the comments below the video. I try and get back to every single comment as quickly as possible when there is one present. Um, and I'd, I'd super appreciate it if you gave this video a like. What that like does is it boosts it up in YouTube's algorithm, tells other people it might be interesting for them to see it, and lets other people see it. it doesn't cost you anything, but it really does help me out. And as ever, I would absolutely appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to ding that bell to get a notification of when I put up a new video. So again, thanks again to Paul Hibbert. I do highly recommend you check out his channel. He's about 150,000 subscribers at this stage and some of his stuff is absolutely incredible. Um, but other than that, for me, all that's left to say is bye-bye for now.